You're watching Como News. ATM thieves strike again, this time dragging a money machine right out of a bank. This morning, the World Health Organization makes a major announcement about the COVID pandemic. This as the head of the Centers for Disease Control announces her resignation. England prepares for Saturday's historic event in London, the coronation of King Charles. We'll look ahead to the pageantry the world will be watching tomorrow morning. First here at 11, ATM thieves strike again, tearing a money machine right out of a bank in South Seattle. It happened this morning at a Wafed bank along Rainier Avenue South. Camo's Mo Heider has more from the scene. This space where this wooden board is, is where this ATM originally was. And police officers that I spoke with say this chain right here shows it was more than luckily pulled from the wall. This is the front entrance of the Wafed Bank here on Rainier Avenue South. After the suspects took off, the ATM was left in the parking lot, smashed. Pieces of the wall and the machine scattered in the lot. This isn't the only incident we've reported on this week. Just yesterday in Issaquah, a similar crime at Joker's Pub. Surveillance footage shows a trio of thieves as they yanked an ATM out of that family-owned business. They're still on the run. The owner says his business has been hit seven times in the 30 years it's been open. He says this time the thieves caused thousands of dollars worth of damage. We spoke with a worker at a nearby business who hopes to see the problem go away. I'm hoping that they think they made enough cash to not have to do it again. Um, but hopefully there's a paper, tra paper trail leading back to them just so they don't do it again. The difference here, an ATM theft at a bank can be a federal crime as opposed to one that happens at a private business. Now, right now, SPD says no word on a suspect, but they do say after speaking with witnesses, they're looking for a red Ford pickup truck. In South Seattle, Ohio Como News. In an incident in Issaquah yesterday, surveillance video showed three...